Do you miss me? Do you miss me? Do you miss me? Hi friends, I'm Dr. Claude Porras and today we are going to talk about the Illuminati ritual at Rio in the Olympics. We are going to talk about how the sport is a tool to brainwashing you and how they tell me that they are not brainwashing me. They are just male gladiators that are playing basketball number five or they are playing football number 11 or number 22 or they are I am playing tennis with a lot of pressure stealing my money or anything except that they are brainwashing me. Rio Olympics announces the new world order, the Antichrist and the global warming. Let's see who can see the symbols. Sports are using to control your mind. First of all, you want to have part of something. You have to be accepted in a group and that group is your football favorite team, for example. They, they use your emotion, sadness, happiness, etc. to use your limbic system. The limbic system is an unconscious mind that responds to an external situation without thinking and manipulate you. It is not entertainment. It is a sequence of emotions that control your mind. Additionally, you want to be accepted by your group. So you share that kind of emotion. It's a collective emotion. Also, a famous face saying something is to be acceptable without questioning anything because he's famous. Finally, in my own experience, they are telling me we are males, we have the gold medal, and you are a woman, you have the silver one. So let's see the Illuminati ritual and what you can see. Mr. Coffinho continued telling me, I am number one, you are number two. But he's impotent, you know, I am the genius. And I am not playing neither basketball or football. I'm just being intelligent and with knowledge. With a cup of wine, enjoy the freedom. We are smarter than them. The new world order does not go. My pleasure. A silver thing. Nobody's saying, what are we watching? Okay, it's just this gigantic ritual. No, they're just holding these pyramids. But it gets better. It gets much better. Listen to this as this ceremony goes through. What do we see? We're talking about the Olympics now. Remember, we're talking about athletes who are swimmers and runners. You know, athletes who play sports that nobody cares about, right? Right on screen, what flashes? Global warming. I repeat...
social med uh, messages are promoted through movies and drama, high drama, through the fixation of emotive sequences, emotional sequences, not logical, factual sequences, but pushing points across in an emotion emotional way which register and fix in the mind. So emotional content is very, very important rather than go through an actual discussion or an argument using logic and facts. There's no debate. And when you're being downloaded through fiction, your guard is down. The sensor part of your brain is not in, uh, in action. It isn't saying, yes, I agree with this, I disagree with that, as you would in a debate or a lecture. You're actually in an alpha state, being completely downloaded. with Loses his defender with this virtuoso goal. And little Blondie says, I want to be like him. Our role models, our icons, the people that our children look up to and model themselves after are not inventors and scientists and trailblazers anymore. That's why America's gone from the greatest to the most pathetic in every statistical analysis you look at. And it's only getting worse. We still got a lot of great people in this country. But with Pete Rose and LeBron James and Michael Vick uh, being our heroes, we're a joke. We're clowns. Yeah, people in that fat gut with all the fast food you eat and the, and the booze you drink. But there you are. Suddenly you see yourself as a warrior for the weekend. What a joke. What a joke. This is how we do it for the And society is wrecked. Totally and completely.